Hi, this is Dave Hurwitz at ClassicsToday.com with a, a musical illustration of the adage, what goes up must come down. I'm talking about these, Carion's recordings of Haydn's Paris and London symphonies. One of the things I mentioned in talking about Harnoncourt's Paris symphonies was that conductors who do the Paris symphonies very well often have trouble doing complete sets of the London symphonies. And this is the proof of what I was saying. Because, you know, Carion was never really known for his classical symphonic repertoire before Beethoven. You know, his Mozart was kind of like oily, and his Haydn symphonies before these were nothing to speak of either. His greatest Haydn performance really was the, the first recording he made of Haydn's The Creation. But symphon symphonically, he was nothing special. And so our expectations were not terribly high when the Paris symphonies came out. But lo and behold, he really did a good job with them. Yes, they're big band Haydn. Their, their tempos are kind of moderate. It couldn't be less, you know, authentic, if that's the term we want to use, or historically informed. But the playing is terrific, and the balances are really pretty good. I mean, in the symphonies with trumpets and drums, like the Bear or number 86, they cut through nicely. Uh, the, you can hear woodwind parts. It, they're really, really fine performances. Unfortunately, by the time he came around to the London symphonies, things seemed to have changed. First of all, the tempos all got slower, especially the minuets, which seemed to take like forever sometimes. And the trumpets and drums are, you know, typically mushy and the wind parts are now buried in this overall sort of oily string sonority that spreads over the whole thing. And it's really kind of a shame because we knew, we knew at that point that Carrion could do it. But I wanted to mention this to you because, first of all, we had talked about it before, and second of all, because now this is all in a box, and if you are buying Carrion's symphony collections, which are getting reissued and re-re-reissued over and over again, the Paris symphonies are really worth hearing. The London symphonies, less so. Of course, there's plenty of beautiful playing there, and for some reason, Haydn scholar H.C. Robbins Landon thought that Carrion's London symphonies were like the best things ever, which really kind of scared me in terms of, uh, you know, his musical judgment, because Landon was, of course, you know, the Haydn guy in the 20th century. But, you know, it just goes to show that when it comes to judging performances, everybody has their own taste, and it is what it is, no matter how musicologically informed you may be. So if you are looking for Carrion's Haydn, stick with the Paris symphonies only. That's my advice in any case. Thank you, and keep on listening.